Tonight on Z Guild News, Z Guild is now one year old. New guild progression news and a legendary on the horizon. These stories right now on Z Guild News. Hi, I'm Braff, and welcome to Z Guild News. To start, we have a big happy birthday for our favorite guild. That's right, Z Guild has been around for a whole year and it's still going strong. To celebrate, Z Guild News would like to take this opportunity to rehash a bit of the guild's history. At least, that which this broadcaster can remember. The guild was first started by Tim, Mithron as some of you may know him, and Pierre Luke. However, at the time, Tim was not the one leading this fine guild. Instead, this duty fell upon Pierre. Tim had recently had some drama-ridden experiences with guild leadership and wasn't looking to have that happen again. The guild quickly grew, garnering attention from controlled elite readers from far and wide based on Tim's mentioning of said guild in a blog post. Then, as now, the guild was driven by the desire to have a casual guild based around the social experience that WoW represents, while still allowing for the raiding aspects that many find so attractive. The guild was soon able to organize raids on the available content and began its drive to its current position of raiding esteem. Throughout the guild's lifetime, many players have come and gone. Some have found the guild to be less than a perfect fit, or left in search of greener pastures. Though many have found the guild to be an oasis in a desert of uncertainty and fail tards. For Z Guild has always endeavored to be a relaxing, and above all drama-free, environment. And to a large extent, that remained a major constant in the guild, and is no doubt a major selling point for those looking for an escape. Since the beginning, many things have changed. We've built up consistent raid teams, we've changed guild policies and bank privileges. Even the guild leadership has changed since the start. For now we have Tim at the helm of this Z Guild, with a team of trusted officers helping with inviting, fish eating, and eliminating drama within the guild. Indeed, our guild seems to have embraced Tim's leadership role, and he has in turn continued playing WoW for his longest ever consecutive stretch, a feat which he credits to Z Guild and its populace. Within the last few months, with the induction of Ice Crown, Z Guild has forged many consistent raid teams. This has brought about the most organized and successful raiding period in the guild's history. With fantastic progress being made in all available endgame content, Z Guild is sitting quite comfortably amongst many of the server's top guilds in progression. Between the guild's progression, aversion to drama, and the fantastic atmosphere perpetuated by the fun-loving people that make up Z Guild, it's easy to see how Z Guild has become such a great home to so many for so long. And with the environment the Z Guild maintains, its members can look forward to its staying this way for quite some time. Happy birthday, Z Guild. And now we move on to another celebratory note, that of guild progression. This week, Z Guild has garnered progression on both the 10 and 25 man fronts. In 10 man, a big congratulations goes out to Team Full Brazilian, who, after a forced two week hiatus, downed Heroic Sindragosa, a boss who has caused them significant amount of trouble up until this point. This leaves only Heroic Putricide and a few normal mode achievements between the team and their new 310% mount, the Bloodbathe Frostbrood Vanquisher. As for Z Guild's ICC 25 man raid, Sindragosa was the last boss standing between them and the Lich King himself. This dragon has caused the group no end of hardship and improved a very real challenge. This Saturday, however, the 25-man group also got Sindragosa progression, downing this mighty dragon and earning the group not only a new achievement, but the last boss gimmick for the guild's first Shadow Morn. The raid went on to clear all the remaining bosses that night, bringing them to 11 out of 12 cleared. Congratulations to all who were able to help. The battle wasn't easy, but you've earned this esteemed kill. There was, however, one additional prize for downing Sindragosa, legendary progress. With the Sindragosa portion of the Shadow Morn quest completed, we have moved one step closer to the guild's first Shadow Morn. Now all that remains is the collection of 50 Shadow Frost Shards. These have a chance to drop from ICC 25 man bosses. From the two bosses we downed after Sindragosa, we acquired one shard each. Only 48 remaining. We wish Tim luck in this arduous task which he has undertaken, and hopefully we'll see a similar drop rate in the weeks to come. As a final note, Z Guild is always recruiting casual players and cool people. Come check us out at thezguild.com.